Hi, I'm Nelson, and this is the San Nelson English School. In this school, we help you to improve your reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills. We also help you to pass the IELTS test. In this particular video, we are going to focus on speaking skills. The skills that you can use when you are asked different questions. We are going to use what we call description questions to improve our speaking skills. Description questions are questions that require you to describe something. Now, part of the skills we are going to learn include one, conversational fillers, two, pointing phrases, three, developing ideas. When you speak English, native speakers usually use conversational fillers. So if you wish to speak English like a native, then you have to use conversational fillers. What are conversational fillers? We are going to see them shortly. We also have pointing phrases. What are these? They are very helpful when you speak English. It's very important to develop ideas. In this video, I am going to demonstrate to you how to develop ideas. We are going to use the question, describe your hometown. How do you describe your hometown? If you can describe your hometown, it means you will be able to use the same format to describe many other things. For example, well, actually, that's what you call a conversational filler. Well, actually, remember the question is, describe your hometown. Before you begin the description, it's important that you begin with a conversation filler. Well, actually, if I had to describe my hometown, that is the if phrase. The if phrase helps you to rephrase the question such that you don't forget it. The first thing I should mention is that that is a pointing phrase showing that I'm going to give you the first thing or the first point. In fact, the word in fact means I'm going to add some more information on what I've said. In fact, there are many unkind people there. We have used the word unkind. Unkind. What is unkind? To explain that, I need an example. For example, if you lose someone, if your friend dies, many people in the city will not be there to comfort you. Now that is an example of people who are not kind. The opposite is kind like it happens in the village. When you lose people, people stop what they are doing and they come to help you. In the city, that is rare. I've given one example of unkind. I'm going to add a second one. In addition, in addition here means I'm going to add another example of how people in the city can be unkind. In addition, you have to pay for everything, including toilets and where to throw rubbish. Kind people will tell you, okay, you can use my toilet, you can throw your rubbish here, in the city, we don't have such things. On top of that, I can also add that the politics is unstable. I have given the first thing, then I am adding another idea about my hometown. On top of that, I can also add that the politics is unstable. The key word here is unstable. I have to explain. What do I mean? I give an example. For instance, thousands of people have lost their homes and families from December last year. Unstable. People are dying because of bad politics. Furthermore, we are under military rule. Military rule, there is no rule of law. All those are characteristics of uh, societies that are unstable. So I am developing my point I'm developing the meaning of unstable. So I have talked about two things, 
being unkind and being unstable. There are many things I can talk about, but we don't need them. What's important is to develop my idea. Now, you need description structures. When responding to description questions, you need to begin with a conversational filler. What are these? One up to seven. These are what you call conversational fillers. Native speakers use these all the time. It is a good idea to begin with them before you give an answer. First of all, you sound like a native and you give yourself time to think about the answer. Next, we have the if structure. The if structure is, if I had to describe, depending on the question, this help you to helps you to rephrase the question such that you don't forget it. After the if structure, we can add the first pointing phrase. Next to the signal, uh, to signal to the listener that the first point is coming. The first point, the first pointing phrase shows the listener that now I'm giving my first point. These are the ones. They are all the same. They all show signal to the listener that I'm going to give my first point. Then think about one important point you can describe about your hometown. It could be the location. Rural, urban, rural means village. Urban means city. Suburban means the areas near the city. These are, are developing. They don't have as many people as in the city, but they also don't have few people. The areas immediately after outside the urban centers are what you call suburban. Second pointing phrase, another point which I could add is that this is a pointing phrase showing that I'm going to add another point about my hometown. Choose two questions and develop your answers. From this list, choose two questions and you develop your answers using your own ideas, but my example can help you, can guide you. <laughs> 